Hi guys, Alan here in the shed again. Uh, I think this is going to be an entertaining video, shall we say. Um, I've been filming on and off all week and events overtake me again. So you might find that some of the clips in the film, especially of the container train going round, is outdated because I've updated the track, I've updated the train, oh god, it's unreal. So anyway, as uh, as the week gone on, I built things and filmed it, and then I improved it, and it just oh, it just seems to get out of hand. Anyway, let's start at the beginning. Where shall we do? Right. Yes, this is Sunday now. Yeah, whatever time it is, I have twelve-ish. This is Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday, 1st of August, was my birthday. So, thank you for all your wishes. and Because I did mention it in a couple of places, but I didn't want to go over the top. Because I had all the family here, and I was Skyping, and oh god, it was just kind of hectic. Then I was uh, doing a Jenny Kirk with the wine, you know. And I was two parts to the wind. I wanted to come down here and do a family thing, and <laughs> it didn't happen. I'm glad it didn't. Uh, so that's that. Oh, and if you want to know, I'm 68 yesterday. 68. Uh, which is not bad, really, when you think of my, the life I've had. Anyway, how, how can we say, how, how, how did the week go? Um, well, I started doing one thing, and then Jeff Redman rang me up, and he says, have you got a church? I says, yeah. He says, oh, I've got something for you. So, bugger me. These, these uh, gravestones turn up in the, uh, in the post. And he sent me a couple of packs of gravestones an assorted pack and a, an add-on pack okay so you uh, you may have seen a few clips on uh, Facebook uh, from it but I'll show you on film uh, and the other thing he sent me which he's doing is uh, post boxes okay but I haven't done anything with them yet I've been busy doing all that there so in part of the film, the next part of the film, it's, it's all out of sequence because the way it's all been filmed all week. You'll see the graveyard and I've created uh, an attempted or stroke murder scene in the graveyard. So, <laughs> so it just, just adds a bit of excitement to the graveyard, you know, it's not just the dead centre of this, anyway it is the dead centre of the shed, but there you go. Uh, Say so now, uh, before I forget, remember this, this little uh, loco? I had several uh, subscribers write to me and uh, tell me it's a J83 apparently. It's a J83 and uh, it was built, they built these in 1901 and they didn't get scrapped till 1965 so I'm sure they got their money's worth out of them. But still, she's really lovely and uh, it's a great little loco to have. That was a bargain buy. So, the other thing that turned up this week was uh, an assortment pack of uh, Hunts couplings. So that'll finish off quite a few of the uh, uh, rolling stock I've been got partly done but then you always need one or two you know so anyway that'll sort all that out so without uh, the, other, the other thing I got off the daughter was this little flasher <laughs> where am I where am I gonna put this I can't put that in the middle of the station can I this girl flashing can you see it so, I'm not saying any more before I get into trouble. 
And the other little Prezi I had was this. Uh, Barry Davis might get jealous over that one. Cappy's <laughs> Bourneville. It's very nice. It's got the very narrow uh, NEN couplings on it as well. It's gorgeous. It's got all the detail you can think of. Brilliant. Um, I, I did get a few other items which I can't show you because that's for a future film. Um, thinking on now, if you remember, uh, what was it, last Sunday, Robert's train set. For those people that were in the chat or watched the after uh, part of the movie, there was references made to supermarkets. And I think one or two are thinking, hang on, you know, <laughs> what the hell's all that about? And all I ever think of is Lee, because he's a scouse, isn't he? Well, from Birkenhead. So, <laughs> if you do, this this references to the supermarket is, and you've got to do it in a scouse accent. I think so, anyway. Uh, do you hear about Tesco's going on fire? Has there? No, Tesco's. Jim Davidson and he goes you know them doctor jokes he got he said uh, this guy went to the doctors and he says what's wrong what's wrong with you he says well I got a steering wheel down me pants he says how do you do that he says I don't know but it's driving me nuts <laughs> and then and then Dave Strange comes on YouTube Doing the Pacman boys, and I've done a few clips. Oh my god, I, I was I was tears. I was in tears. <laughs> well, you'll see a couple of clips, but if you want to watch the whole movie, you'll have to see Dave's Dave's trains. So, um, so where I was? Oh, where else did I go? Oh, I got a couple of new containers for me train for me birthday. You'll see a short clip of four containers, which replaces the DHLs which I'm using on the container base. So let's see. That's just Dave Strange does me any. Uh, hang on a minute. Right, the next thing I want to show you is uh, Dave Strange, and it's uh, what's the what did he call it? The Backman Boys, and. Uh, I'll put it on the TV and I'll film it and show you. Only a couple of little clips. Oh boy, it's funny. It's really good fun. It's bang on, mate. And the other great film was Graham Falston's latest one. Uh, absolutely stunning piece of movie, that is. Absolutely stunning. But uh, if you if you want a, a bit of fun, have a look at Dave Strains and uh, the Backman Boys. And I'll show you a couple of clips. <laughs> nice one, Dave. <laughs> Gotta watch this. These Backman boys are sure strong, aren't they? Eh? <laughs> The foreman's on the phone. This is the best bit of the film. Watch this. I love this. <laughs> Top man, Dave. I love that. <sighs> and the other crazy bits. Watch this here now. Can you get a bigger screwdriver, Dave? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, my God. Well, look at the back then, boys. I'll have to find some Hornby boys, I think. Right, move, moving on. Um, there was another very nice subscriber come on. Uh, about the uh, the frogs on the on the points, yeah. And he put these plastic fish plates on the on the end. You see? Him? Apparently, and I'm I'm as guilty as anybody else. He mentioned to me. He said, uh, he says we don't read instructions, do we? I said, no, we don't. Apparently, he tells you on the back of the points and crossovers to put insulated fish plates on your frogs whether it's Letro frog or Intel frog it advises you to put these on I've never had to I've never done in the past but there you go but it it's there it's advisable in the instructions on Pico points so that's another little thing um, and there was another survivor, uh, not survivor, <laughs> you'd have to be a survivor to get through my films. There another subscriber asked for, um, for a short clip in me uh, docs, uh, which I've done a short film on. Okay, so hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy the little clips and what have you. Um, there's not much more I can say really. It's just been a hectic week with one thing and another. Uh, you get stuck into something and the wife drags it away and does things. Anyway, so uh, there's more to come on the church yet because I've got, I'm not going to show you what it is, but I've got another little box full of goodies to make another little diorama thing. So, it could come uh, quite traumatic. <laughs> so, without further ado, we'll get into the film. Um, and like I said, some parts of the film it may be the old track and not the new track. Because uh, I haven't filmed the new track yet. But uh, I start off at the beginning of the week. I know what I'm going to do. And it doesn't work out by the time I get to Saturday. I scrapped it all. I must I must have wiped out five hours of filming. Because there's no point, it all got updated all of a sudden. Anyway, I'm waffling again. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. And uh, bye for now. Have fun. Now there's a, there's another subscriber wanted to see my dock area and we'll start there these walls are a Backman resin thing you can buy these they come in a pair and it comes with the ladders and that and then you can get add-ons walls and what have you this um, back wall here is canal wall sidings and what I did, you build one wall for the, the, the likes of a canal because it'd only be that deep. And then I built another wall and put one on top of the other to create this bigger dock effect. And, and that's why it's only, I haven't quite fitted it right because I haven't got the ladders to carry on down. But you don't need to really, if you think about it. Now these um, boats... They were second hand from my model shop uh, and they're only a bit of wood shaped basically. So you could you could do the same effect yourself if you if you're that way inclined as a as a modeler. See it's, it was mounted on something anyway, so but I just use them as badges within there. Uh, that's one of them cheap old cranes I bought. It's the Backman Coil Carriers. This is scale model scenery, like I did the container base. Put it down, put a bit of paper on the top, gives a concrete effect. Throw in a bit of grass. The buildings, I got them for £5 each. Um, and if I get closer, 
I'll show you the the deck. So that's the sort of effect I've created there. And then I fetch in um, a parcel vehicle, which is no good to me on the layout because it's got say it's a Lima and uh, it's got the wrong wheels on it. So I'm not fussed on using it. Uh, what else we got in the dock area? I got the security cab in there. Put a bit of fencing round. There's a bit of a yard at the back. Um, I, haven't, I haven't done a lot with that. And I just packed a couple of locos in there and I've got a small sidings. Which when I turn the power on, which I'll do now, all the uh, buffer lights light up. And then put a bit of fencing around there. So that basically, oh, and I've got a, a nuclear flask crane there. Just, I haven't got a vehicle to go with it yet, but don't really need one. And if anybody wants to build that kit there, I think the ratio, and they're absolute nightmare to build. So just beware. Okay. And I'm not the only one that's said it either. Uh, the other thing, I, I got these capstans, uh, another subscriber told me about them and uh, I sent for them. And they're a lot bigger than other scales, which is far more, uh, it's a better size to be honest, it's more noticeable. But basically that's, that's the dock area, um, so that's that. And then I got the car transporter over there. And uh, these, like I keep saying, use your model shop, second hand. They were second hand, five pound each they were. So I didn't have to go to the lengths of making them. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Just, oh yeah, yeah, there's always one thing in there. Uh, it's a shout out for uh, Tony Northeastern and Susanna. Big thank you for your uh, uh, words of kindness. Thank you very much for them too. Um, so, uh, yeah. It uh, took the whole heart strings there. I enjoyed that. Thank you. Anyway, just to show you. I can stop the bugger. There it is. Nice bit of detail. Sam's trains eat your heart out, mate. Slow running. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Oh, tears, 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 oh, my eyes are leaking again. <laughs> anyway, the other, the other thing that turned up this week, after a phone call, uh, and you you might quite like this, this, this is for a future one, is that. Now, I've been waiting a long time for this. God knows if I can build it, but... Uh, there's um, 
Oh, that's... <laughs> that's the interior part. This is the engine shed. God knows what I can do. Anyway, this engine shed, it's a mega pack. Absolute mega. So, I might be ringing Justin. <laughs> Send some instructions how to build it, but uh, been waiting a while for that, and eventually it turned up. So that's one good thing. So anyway, my new containers turned up this morning for uh, my birthday. I've got them two there, Mediterranean Sea containers and Harper Hagloid, and the other two is the Hamburg Sud and K-Line. So four new containers that completes the train now. I uh, don't need any more anyway. Not at the moment anyway. <laughs> Hope not. So on first glance at the graveyard I've, I've revamped it all. Uh, as you can see the railway line used to come through here but I've extended it, uh, put the roadway in, moved the wall in. Church is still in the same place with the lights, but I've paved it and put all these gravestones in. Okay, so if I, if I jack it up, I can zoom in a bit on for you. Now them down there, they were the old type, which you buy in small packs, yeah? These, these two here are the new ones. And if I move down there, you can see all that. So that's uh, two and a half packs all together in there. Because it's quite a big churchyard now. Now I've extended it. And the details don't. Not bad, and these these are pre-production uh, uh, gravestones. They're just samples, but at the distance you can't tell much difference anyway. But there'll be more detail on the uh, the proper ones, and you can put um, there's RIP on them and little bits of writing. You could do black washes on them. To highlight it, that type of thing. So, to keep the punters happy, I've got some grave diggers. Now, there was a man giving me grief over where how do the grave diggers get there and all that. Well, they're there now. But the other little thing I've got going on, it looks like an attempted murder. And I've got one body on a stretcher and one body uh, being attended to and then the cops have turned up and there you go it's got quite busy down there now it's been suggested on Facebook that Mrs Marple's turned up or Colombo this this Land Rover is Vera remember the TV series Vera she always drove a Land Rover. So that's my little murder scene going on, or attempted murder. Nothing's proven. But the other little thing is... There's that dodgy character again there. Don't half look like Graham Falston, you know. It's a very close look about, like... Anyway, the police officer's telling him to skedaddle, skedaddle! Go away, you uh, nosy person. So he's on his bike and he's off and away.